Well, we've left Laurella Springs and we're heading into the southern Lost City to go and check it out. Now, these formations were made over millions of years of weathering and have been known to be up to 1500 million years old. what's known as the Southern Lost City which is over behind the camera but looking out in front of you you can see a bit more of the same sort of thing. Really nice views, yeah good walking, quite spectacular. This here folks is a cork tree where they take the bark off to get cork. Walker. Yeah, Bixie May just couldn't resist the urge to take a selfie. Well, we're still on the road. We pushed on into the night last night and down from Borolula to Wearin River Crossing. That's where we are at the moment, we're at Wearin River. So we're gonna fish this system for a few days and then we'll head out to the coast from here. But we we're gonna have a, we'll have a fry up this morning, get our energy back and move on. Cook off. Cook on. No cat calls, no tag teams, no mascots. Right now. Cook off. Righto, today we're doing a cook off. There's something nice and easy today. We're camping, nothing hard. So we're just gonna do like a seafood omelette today. That's what you want, a bit of butter. In a hot pan. Just going to use a heap of leftovers today, use up what we got in the fridge. Got some old spaghetti here from last night. Just going to chop that up a bit. Just like that, straight in the pan. Next, got a bit of fish. This is queen fish we caught at Lorella Springs. In it goes. Next, some crab. Crab meat. It's in. Bind it all together. We're just going to use some eggs. So I've got some eggs in here. A little bit of milk. We'll mix it up. camping, just nice and easy, nothing hard. That's it. Egg and milk mixed. All we do now, tip that over everything. How easy is that? Let that cook for a bit, give it a bit of a turn. What are we going to call it? I think we'll just call it a seafood omelette. So every now and then we're just going to give it a flip. Well not a flip, but a stir. Get something to stir it round with. Smells fantastic. The 
brine is coming off these, <laughs> smelling pretty good. We've cooked the fish in a bit of butter and garlic powder. Pretty easy, you can smell it all coming through. Put some salt and pepper in the egg mix as well. And it's smelling very good. It's making me hungry, starting to salivate. Right, eh? so this is done now. I'm just going to plate him up. As little or as much as you want. We're getting rid of leftovers here, so make some big portions. While you're camping, you've got to eat a little bit, eh? keep your energy up. said nothing fancy but just gonna get a little bit fancy here got a bit of coriander I'm gonna tear a couple of leaves off sprinkle on top just for a bit of color so we're using coriander but you can use parsley or anything you like really and that's it this is our leftover seafood scrambled omelette. I was guess we better have someone to come in and taste test it. Get the old man in, see what he reckons. Well, it looks good. There you go, have a go on that. Thank you. It's going to be good because I didn't cook it. You can taste the fish and the crab. It's just really nice. Excellent. Good job, Simon. <laughs> Sounds like another thumbs up job. We finally made it to Manangora. We've set up camp, we've put the boat in the water and we're heading out for a fish. We're going to go and check it out, see what the day brings. Yeah, we did a little bit of trolling across a shallow reef. Hooked up to a couple of small cod, but nothing worthwhile. So this one here is a little bit small, so we're coming back to swim another day. It's the right species, but just the wrong size. This little coral trout's going back in. What do you got, Simo? What a fish! Feels like a big cod. Got a bit of weight to her. I hope it's a coral trout, but I'm not hopeful. Oh, I just dropped it. Seriously? Then the brakes when you're out here fishing. That was something nice, though. Right? Yeah.
Been like a stain dry in that one. Ready. Coming at. What species you got this time? Ready? Yeah. Woo. First fish of the day. Go quite nice on the barbecue, I reckon. Second fish. Second fish. What was Second. the first one? Big Simo wanted a race, so I'm in my tinny, he's in Pete's boat, and we're going flat out. I'm trying out the new handlebar that I put in the boat. Works a treat for when you're standing up or have to lean on it for a bit of camera work. Cook off. Hands off, no trash talk, no back walk. On the black top, just me, you. Cook on. No cat calls, no tag teams, no mascots. Right now. Cook off. Uh, I'm not supposed to be telling anybody what this is because they reckon I'm going to get sick, but it's it's um, Peter's leftovers. It's <laughs> all I can say. It's a bit of everything. Rice, fish. Uh, I'm not telling everything else, no, it's just leftover. They reckon they weren't going to eat any, but they're all saying now, oh, I think I will try some. So what are you going to do with it? Uh, I think I'll just make little balls or patties out of it and fry it up and see what happens. Don't know. And lemon pepper seasoning. You've got to have lemon pepper seasoning. And I was told not to put turmeric in it. Don't know why, because turmeric's good. These are hash cakes, which means they've got fish, some veggies, onion, rice, uh, breadcrumbs, egg. Lemon pepper seasoning, anything I could think of, I just put it in there. So, so there's, there's no hash in there, though, is there? Hash? Well, it's a hash up. No, no potato. Oh, hash. Yeah, I didn't know what hash meant, but I do now. You'll that, probably get high after eating that. It's got to be turned up, Nigel. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm eating it. You better see what the other people think about all my leftovers. <laughs> yeah, it's actually pretty good, eh? Surprisingly. Ah, oh, it is. It's good. I'm going to have another sandwich. Cruising out to our spot out of Vandalin. 
and we came across a school of tuna on a bit of a work. I threw the old man's lorry. <laughs> You're kidding! <laughs> I just lost it! I'm speechless! <laughs> I can't happen. believe that just happened! Get! <laughs> There's a rookie mistake. <laughs> Cut! Cut! What'd you get there, Big Simo? Tuna! What sort? Uh, call it bluefin. Hey, he's got him. <laughs> My first tuna. And it's in the boat. I'm pretty stoked about it. We'll try and keep him in the boat too. Well, here we are. We're on Vandalin, Vandalin Island. We just pulled in here. We might stay the night. We don't know yet. We've got the swags just in case. But check out this place. Pretty nice. Pete's getting shells already. He'll have a pocket full by the time he gets back, don't worry about that. But, um, anyway, I reckon fish for dinner and we'll see what happens. So what do you think of this spot, fellas? I oh, reckon it's pretty nice. Yeah, it tastes good. Nice and sheltered. I reckon we'd nearly even have a campfire tonight. Might stay here tonight. So tonight we're really roughing it. We've got our swags. We've got our dinner cooking. Real basic tonight. Just some fish straight in the pan on the burner. What do you reckon, Simo? Good. Get mm. back to some real life skills. No mm. oil, no butter, just fish in the pan. Not even salt and pepper. Proper roughing it. And this is our view for tonight. I don't know how we're going to handle this tonight. Anyway. We'll see. I'm so glad my dad got his Cooper tyres fitted and serviced at Garden City Tyres and Mechanical. He has taken me to Cape York, Kimberley and Fraser Island and I would not feel safer with anything else. Thank you Garden City Tyres and Mechanical. Garden City Tyre and Mechanical, so much more than tyres. Tough as rocks. When Aussie off-road adventures gets off the road, out into the bush and in the mud, we use RoadSafe 4 drive recovery gear. Now they've got everything from your toe points on your vehicle, to your bow shackles, to your snap straps and even snap blocks and everything else in between. Now you can get yours from Garden City Tire Mechanical, so come down and see Dry and he'll hook you up.